juice? Who's got the juice? I have actually been saving this juicy treat for a whole year. I've wanted to talk about Sonic for ages, but I've saved it for this season just so I could wear this jumper. If you can't tell, it's Sonic the Hedgehog and it's got rings on it and everything and I absolutely love it. It's like the ultimate cheese of Christmas jumpers and Sonic the Hedgehog cheese. So, you know what? Let's just do this. Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I know when I first reviewed Sonic Heroes back in whenever it was I reviewed that game that I claimed that this was the first experience I had with Sonic the Hedgehog. But you know what? After I published it, I realised I unintentionally lied, as it wasn't actually Sonic Heroes that was my first experience with Sonic, but it was actually Sonic Advance 2. I remember my brother and I both getting a Game Boy Advance one Christmas, and one game that he got with it, or maybe he got like around just near when he first got it, was Sonic Advance 2. And I remember he played it and he was absolutely glued to it, he kept on talking about it, we were both drawing the characters in the series, and I, I was just, the music in it was so cool, I used to listen to it in the background when I was playing my game thinking, I don't want to play. So, like, obviously when he played it, because he had to play it first because it was his game, I then gave it a go, and that was my first experience with Sonic. That's how I was introduced to him, that's how I learned about what Sonic games were all about, because personally I think it actually reflects really well on what a Sonic game is, and it's a perfect little handheld Sonic game, I think it's absolutely fantastic, and you know what, It's that was my first experience with Sonic. After playing Sonic Advance 2, I don't think I actually got the other Advance games until after I played Sonic Heroes. The other advanced games I then got was Sonic Advance 1, I got that one first and it came conjoined with Sonic Battle. Both of them I had a lot of fun with. Sonic Advance I never really mixed with as much as I did Sonic Advance 2, but it was still a lot of fun. I used to always love the little chow guarding in that. And Sonic Battle, I remember having so much fun with that, I remember playing it on my holiday, I remember playing it like in the hotel rooms when you're staying somewhere and I was on my bed and my, like, you know when your mum's like, oh come and look around the area of the hotel and you're there like, no, I'm playing a game! And you just lock yourself up in your room. I remember doing that with Sonic Battle. Oh, and I remember as well playing Sonic Advance 2 once on the beach. And you know, I, because it was on the beach, the sun was reflecting on the screen. And I was on like the casino boss level, I believe I was Knuckles or something. And then the, the screen went all multicolored because the sun got too much on the screen or something and I couldn't play it. I remember that now. God, that was a memory and a half. It was after Sonic Advance 2 that I was then introduced to Sonic Heroes. Like I said in my review for this game, I really wanted this game because the trailers made it look absolutely awesome from what I remember as a kid. I don't remember the trailers or the adverts or anything like that, but it looked awesome. The cover had like a shiny text on it. I remember seeing it in a little Woolworth store that we used to have in the UK, but I think now there's literally only like a handful of them left if they haven't all gone. Rest in peace Woolworths, I loved you. And it was just so good and I really wanted to play it and this was the first game that I asked for for my mum for my birthday because my mum never used to like buying, like buying me video games, she thought that was more of my brother's thing rather than mine, bless her little cottons. But, <laughs> but no, I remember this was the first game and I got it for my 8th birthday and I was so excited for it. If you want to see, I mean I could go more in depth but the thing is I've already covered this in my review at the beginning. So if you do want to see like my actual, or if you want more in depth of my experiences with this game, then I pretty much nail it in the review. I won't repeat myself for those who have already watched it. But Sonic Heroes, first game I like owned myself and I have very strong memories with it. I am not letting go of it. It is my baby. It is my... It's my baby and bundle of joy that I will hold on to forever. In fact, after Sonic Heroes came out, or like it was around the same time period, I can't fully remember, but there was a TV animated series called Sonic X that pff, I used to call Sonic Sex. But you know, this was before sex, you could say it out loud when you were a kid, so it was like, Sonic Sex. And then you start giggling because you're so immature and you love it. In fact, I'm still like that now, not gonna lie. Can't listen to the theme tune without thinking Sonic Sex. But I used to love this cartoon series as well. I watched every episode when I was a kid. I remember once it was my cousin's birthday back when he was like three or something. And me, I just I just sat on the TV in my cousin's house and just watched Sonic X when I could. I think there's actually a picture somewhere of Tails being on the TV. I have no idea where that picture's gone. But Sonic X, I used to absolutely love that show and so did all of my friends. We all seemed to watch this show and we had imaginary games. For example, I would play as Tails mostly because Tails was my bro and then I'd always have like a friend playing as Sonic and then a friend playing as Knuckles and we got the whole team together of all the cast and characters. Shadow seemed to be the most fun when we were kids because he's the most edgy but Tails was my main man. I always played at Tails. And at around the same time period as well, I had a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog at this time in my life. But James also got the Sonic Mega Collection and Sonic Gems Collection for the PS2. And even the sun comes out for these games. Look at that. Happy sunshine of Sonicness. 
But these games were actually the reason why I was introduced to all of the old Sonic games. Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic Fighters, Super Sonic Racing. These were the reasons I actually played these games. Super Sonic Racing, I absolutely adore it because I just think it's so beautiful. The music in it's amazing. I listen to the music on a regular basis from Sonic R and it's just so funny to me. But these two were the reason why I actually played this game rather than the originals on the original consoles. I've only ever played originally, originally, Sonic 1, I think, on the Genesis, and that was because James Watts got a Genesis to add to his collection and he had Sonic 1 with it at some point. So, you know what, I played that one originally, but that wasn't until many years later. So after having this impactful PlayStation 2 era of Sonic games being all in my life and everywhere and having my Sonic phase, I then don't remember actually playing that much Sonic the Hedgehog. I remember I got Sonic Rush for the DS, which I used to play and I enjoyed it at the time, but I also had Nintendogs, and Nintendogs I think was just a bit better than Sonic Rush, so I played that one mainly. And I also had Sonic in the Seven or Secret Rings, I can't, I always get it muddled up on which one it is. But I got that one because my stepbrother gave it to us when we first met, and because he was getting rid of his Wii and he wanted to give us his game, so that's how I got that game. And the story element of the, the, the Sonic in the Rings, that's what I'm going to call it, Sonic in the Rings, the story element of that I barely played, I never did single player campaign because I thought it was so shit and boring, but the party element games to it, like when you're doing multiplayer, that was so much fun. I used to have my friends from school coming around all the time, we'd all get four of us together and we'd all just play it because it was actually a lot of fun, it was a good little party game. I think if they stuck it to a party game, that would have been better than having the, you know, the plot. <laughs> And then also remember my brother letting us borrow Sonic Adventure 2 for the GameCube um, because he said it was really good and he wanted James to try it out so I think, I think that was the reason anyway, I don't fully know. But James played it and then I gave it a go and I really enjoyed it. I had a phase of really enjoying Sonic Adventure 2. I liked the Chow Garden, I thought it was really cute. Even when Sonic goes, there there buddy, in like a really creepy way, I remember that. <laughs> Um, and I do want to revisit this game because I got all the Sonic games on the Humble Bundle ages ago, so I really do want to revisit this game, but I remember having fun memories with it. It was a fun game. But fun fact, the main thing that got me back into Sonic after I had that massive PS2 phase and then the itty bitty bits in the middle was a certain Let's Play channel called Game Grumps. And yeah, I actually um, watched the whole Sonic 06 Game Grumps playthrough when they first did it. Everyone has, it's, really, it's a really popular one of theirs, it's kind of like a legendary thing if you know what I mean. But I remember watching this, like, whenever they uploaded a video, I was in hysterics because of their commentary, as well as the gameplay, and I was absolutely intrigued by this game because how could it be so bad? So I remember one year for Christmas, I asked, like, just for Sonic 06, really, from James, because he said, oh, why should I? I was like, I just kept on hinting, you know, like, oh, if only I had Sonic 06, I'd play it. I'll play it Christmas Day, this, that, and the other. And I remember saying that, and bless him, he was able to go to a shop and he got it for me one year for Christmas and I spent the whole Christmas day playing Sonic 06. I remember it so fondly. I had a laugh with it, I was frustrated by it. It was, it was just how I spent the whole of Christmas. No regrets. <laughs> I think I pretty much finished it actually on Christmas day. I can't remember. I remember just like zooming through it. I mean, I can't believe I played this game one year for Christmas. Looking back, I was a baboon. <laughs> so then once again after Sonic 06, I kind of went out of Sonic for a bit again. I mean, after Sonic 06, can you blame me? Let's just say it lives up to the reputation. But I didn't actually peak interest again into Sonic until a little game called Sonic Generations came out. I thought this game looked awesome and I was really interested in it. I thought it looked gorgeous. I liked how they combined modern Sonic and older Sonic because I liked both of them and I thought that was awesome. And I remember actually first playing it at my friend's house because we were just chilling, you know, having a sleepover or something. And she was like, she was all into heavy music and stuff. So she listened to that and I was just sort of chilling, just in her room. I didn't really listen to that stuff. And I saw Sonic Generations on her Xbox. So I said, oh, can I give that a go whilst you're just listening? She was like, yeah, sure, knock yourself out. So I played it at her house and I really enjoyed it. So I got it for myself and every now and then I still love to pick it up and just have a little playthrough of it. I love, I've unlocked everything in that game. It's really fun just to pick up and play and it's just a really fun game. Well done, Sonic Generations. I can't wait to see if you delve, because I know there have been teasers of this game coming back, like Sonic Generations 2 and stuff. I know there's been ads and stuff, or trailers, that's the word, not ads. But what's that? I can't wait to see what this brings in the future. It should be really interesting. I think it was safe to say that Sonic Generations got me fully back into the Sonic the Hedgehog series, um, because then, much later on, the Humble Bundle came out where you can buy all the Sonic games, and also I got this jumper because I love the cheesiness of Sonic. 
Um, but I got the Humble Bundle where I now have all pretty much all the Sonic games on my Steam account. And I've got Sonic All Stars Race and Transform, which I absolutely bloody love, and I love playing that with my friends. However, because I don't have the most advanced laptop in the planet, unfortunately I keep on getting lag, so everyone's able to play nice and smoothly, and I'm there and their games going eh, 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 and it's horrible, but once I have an actual PC, guys, once you're back, I'm gonna kick your asses. And I also plan on playing like Sonic CD and all the games on the Steam account. I've got so many now, like literally my Steam's just Sonic, 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 Sonic so much Sonic. So I'm going to play those as I go. And not only that, but I went to EGX in 2016 for in September and I was super excited to see that they had Sonic Mania being able to play because I'm super excited about Sonic Mania. Mainly because of the music, because the music is absolutely amazing, especially in Mirage Saloon and the Casino Park. But I am so excited for Sonic Mania. I played it with a certain someone and he played stage one, which was Green Hill Zone, because he wanted to compare it with the original game and compare it to Sonic Mania, because he's like that. Whereas I was playing stage two, which was the casino area, because I was like, it looks amazing, the music I absolutely love, and I want to have some fun. And God, did I have some fun with Sonic Mania, and I can't wait until it comes out. Sorry, I know I'm rambling because I'm running out of breath, but I'm just so excited for Sonic Mania, and I really hope it lives. It, it, I still have the hypeness of it when it comes out. I'm so excited! The music in it, guys, is awesome! So as you can tell, Sonic and I, we've had a bit of a history. I'm sure when you guys clicked on this, you probably felt that I had nothing really much to do with Sonic the Hedgehog, but you'll be oddly surprised. I've had quite a bit of history with him. I know not everyone likes him, but I've never had a problem with him. I mean, he makes me laugh with his cheese, his badness. But you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, it can also be really self-aware about how cheesy it is. Again, jumper, but <laughs> but I really enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, the bad games and the good games. You know, I'm a, I'm a mixture of the two. I haven't played Sonic Unleashed or anything like that. Uh, I don't really want to delve into those. I think they're just bad rather than like so bad that they're considered good. You know, like Sonic in the Rings. Um, and also Sonic Colors I want to check out because apparently that's really good, but I haven't been able to have a chance to play that or buy it. I need to buy it to play it first, really. Um, but. Sonic and I have had a history, I'm always looking out for him, the little buddy, um, in goodness and badness terms, I love the old and the new games, and I look forward to see what he brings out in the future, it could be pretty much anything. Oh, and also Sonic Boom, I absolutely, like, uh, the games, never played, never even played the games, but the cartoon, I think Eggman is one of the funniest shits in that show, I think he's absolutely hilarious, he's my kind of humour and I love him. Uh, Sonic Boom, the cartoon, side characters, meh, but I mainly just watch it for Eggman because he's great in it. And I've even got a little Sonic Boom doll in my car just because he's wrapped up in bandages. And I was like, yeah, I'm Sonic, I'm gonna go fast in my car. But I actually drive super safe. My friends will tell you I'm like a... I, I don't drive often. <laughs> but Sonic the Hedgehog, you all know who he is. Go check him out. You'll like him or you'll hate him. We'll see how it goes.